Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks, Futures, and Forex Market Preview for the week beginning Sunday, the 22nd of January 2023, ending Friday the 27th. So we've got two holidays, New Year's and uh, MLK, out of the way already for 2023. And uh, we've got options expiration for January out of the way. So now the question is, when, does, when is this market going to get exciting for at least three out of five days a week? That's what we're waiting on. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart to start with. And as you can see, just completely dead flat. We do have a 13 secret buy signal on the daily chart now. And we're just kind of holding on to that risk line. But, boy, this is uh, this has been really, really flat in the dollar. Even that one little push down, but it's been flat for over a month, unfortunately. Uh, here's a look at the pound dollar. Kind of making a cup, uh, a little breakout potentially coming here. And that's usually when we trade anyway, so that should be interesting. Uh, Euro dollar, usually the inverse of the dollar index. Not much here. Pound yen, still kind of wiggling exactly where it was a month ago. Let's talk about the uh, stock market side. Here's the ES front month futures contract. Uh, this is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And you know, again, we, we kind of dipped on Thursday and Friday, and then came or thir Wednesday and Thursday and came back a little bit on Friday. You'll see how the interweek stuff look. So not much net, and we still can't get a 13 sell signal in place because the uh, we haven't we have to get above that eight. We can get the true 13 until you get above the eight. Um, here's the S&P cash, same story basically here. Um, so uh, S&P uh, gained 73.76 on Friday. Here's the Nasdaq 100, uh, which was up 323.36 on Friday for expiration, but basically nowhere for the week. Once again. Uh, the Russell 2000, uh, not much there, as, as you can see. Uh, maybe making a cup and handle. We'll see what happens. Uh, crude oil up a dollar eight uh, to 81.64, and gold uh, a little bit up on uh, Friday, just just a small amount. Uh, in terms of uh, some of the other stuff, we like to watch. Bitcoin has rallied sharply back to 23,000 and change. Uh, it's a big move off of that 16,000 level it was sitting on for a while. So we'll see what that means for Bitcoin moving forward. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, uh, down $1.75 on Friday. Rates uh, Bonds down rates up, as they say, although we're kind of mid-range for the last six months at this point. Uh, the VIX, the VIX, closes down $0.67 cents to 1985, still holding that risk line from the 13 buy signal. So, again, that could be trouble in the markets. Advanced decline ratio. On the New York was plus uh, 1859, and on the New York, I'm sorry, on the Nasdaq was plus 1899. So it was a big positive day on Friday. The trend uh, closes at 0. 0.6. That's a low reading, but it got a huge reading the day before, and that puts the 10-day up at 1.31. So that's not a sell signal for us right now. Here's the intraweek action. So five-minute candles. Now, if you look at the far left of the chart, that's Friday of the prior week. Monday is that little short day because it was the holiday, so they opened the futures with no trading for a little bit here. And then so Tuesday kind of got a flat opening and a uh, flat day. Wednesday, a small gap up. That's your sell-off. That was probably options unraveling um, most likely. Uh, i got to check the chart time frames here. Well, either way, you can see most of the day. Um, Thursday, another gap down. Closed about even, and Friday rallied back up. And so the net for the week is a small loss. Um, that's about it. And then in terms of the uh, NASDAQ side, uh, looks about the same. Uh, in terms of some of our key stocks that we like to watch, you know, Apple up $2.60 uh, on Friday. Amazon was up $3.57. That's a decent move nowadays for Amazon because it's under 100 bucks after all the splits. The split <laughs> meta. New highs for recent times here up $3.22. Google, ooh, big day up on Google, uh, up $4.97, trying to get back above $100. Um, boy, that 13 buy signal back in November sure was on the money, wasn't it? Goldman Sachs, on the other hand, uh, down $8.91. That can be a warning sign for the economy, obviously. Uh, Netflix up 26.72, getting near six-month highs, or making six-month highs. Uh, there is a 13 sell signal in place here, though, but watch that risk line at 347.63 on Netflix. Tesla <coughs> has recovered back a bit, uh, up $6.25 on Friday. NVIDIA uh, was up $10.74 on Friday, and Zoom uh, up $2.67. So a little bit of movement on some of these. Uh, we'll see what we get. In terms of uh, intraday, I'm sorry, in terms of the economic data, Coming out in the week ahead, let's take a quick look at the U.S. data in particular. So we got uh, China's on bank holiday uh, for a couple days here. 
um, Monday here in the U.S. We've got the uh, CB leading index at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, 9.45, we got flash services and manufacturing PMI numbers. Rich manufacturing index at 10 here in the U.S. Um, we've got the New Zealand CPI going into Wednesday. Australia CPI as well. Um, and then Bank of Canada has a rate announcement at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. Uh, we've got the crude oil inventories here at 10.30. And then uh, on Thursday, we've got the first look at GDP for the fourth quarter. This will be a big one. Obviously, the first look is always the biggest one. Um, and uh, durable goods at the same time, along with the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, wholesale inventories, and the goods trade balance. New home sales at 10, natty gas at 1030. That's a busy day for data. And then on Friday, we've got personal income and spending an hour before the bell, along with the core PC price index. Uh, and then 30 minutes in the market, pending home sales and revised University of Michigan sentiment. So uh, there is some data this week, nothing too huge, no Fed meeting to worry about, and we'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by Ninja Trader. If you're not yet taking the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.